Hello, this is Melek for part 18 of my Let's Play Minecraft. And as we see from before the last episode, or the last episode, I've neatened up this area quite nicely. Got nice and organised, thank goodness. It's really starting to grate on my nerves. Now, there's a few things I've run out of. Um, need some torches, a few bits like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just quickly put some of these sorts of things together. That's a good idea. We have a little bit of coal into my crafting chest because although it is a fuel, it's also used in some crafting. So there we go. That is enough torches. For now. For now. Put that in back in there. Put my wood back in there. A bit of dirt. Glass. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that now. Now, as we sh showed on the last episode, I basically created this floor here, which at the moment is empty, and you'll see what I'm going to do with that later. And then we created this floor um, from a recommendation of one of the channel goers, one of my channel goers, and then a sort of a bedroomy type area here. Now, I'm just going to build some ladders right up to the roof because the roof is going to be my farm garden area. Now I'm hoping that I feel like there's enough space there because you can... it's not the widest of towers if you follow me. So that should be that. I've got enough of that. Okay. Now what I'm basically going to do is create a lot of sticks. And with the sticks I'm gonna create some nice laddery things. Okay. Let's see how that gets me. Okay. I'm going to put a block there, ladder there, and I'm going to completely cover this whole area in dirt. Alright then, that's that. I've just risen that ladder up a little bit there, put a few torches around, where you can never uh, have too much light. And we've got quite a view from up here actually, over the landscape of Minecraft, very nice. Okay. My next job, really, is to start thinking about where I'm going to be planting things. I'm putting paths, because as much as I've covered it in dirt for now, I really need to keep an eye on paths. Because trampling your own crops, a mm, bit of a stupid thing to do. Which I have to admit, I am occasionally guilty of. There's the moon descending, and the sun rising. Right then, I'm just having a think now. What should I do next? Ha, huh. see a skeleton in the water there. Cool. Right. The other thing as well I need to think about is water. I need to have a think about water, water, water. So I could just do something similar to before, you know, have a, a bit of a river of water flowing. There we go. And that's my small little cactus farm in the corner. I'm going to get out my hoe. I haven't seen my hoe for a while. Alright then. Just gone and collected some water. Now I need to think how best to use it. Hmm. Well, water can just flow off the side, can't it? I know it's a little awkward, but it'll it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I think I'm going to put more sand over there, but I'm not sure I've still got it with me. Here we go.
Right, well, that is my weird, fairly random garden stroke farm. Just as the sun is beginning to set, no less. So yeah, that's that. So basically I've got this little path, got a little farm plot here, some cacti. Cacti are already beginning to grow nicely. Oh, and some of my reeds are also beginning to grow quite nicely. Crops, that one's a bit bigger. Soil's looking quite moist, a few round here. And then this path goes over here to this little small plot of, of I don't know, wheat, whatever it is. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. Might as well harvest the small amount of reeds that I'm getting. Yeah, I mean the cacti are not heavily important. As far as I'm concerned, they can grow full size and I'll harvest them when I need them. But yeah, for now, that's looking pretty damn good. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start turning this reed... Which way around is it? There we go. Into paper. Now, some of you may not have ever seen paper. Might not know what it's for. That is what you are about to learn. Basically, turn it into books. You might think, But Melek, why the hell would you need books? Well, you don't really need them at all, to be fair. What you do with them is create decorations. So if I put some books in a row, maybe make a shelf there and a shelf there. Oh, look at that. We end up with a little bookcase block. There you go. Three bookcases. And that's ultimately what my read farm is all about. Creating these bookcases. Because that is what this room is going to be. It's going to be a library. See, the whole idea of the floating tower is it's kind of a magic-y thing, supposedly. And of course, what wizard, or what archmage, what, what kind of a magician are they if they can't have a nice floating tower with an arcane library in it? So that's exactly what I'm going to produce. So I'm just going to start putting some books down. And once this room is not filled completely, but has got a good fair f few books in it, I will call it finished. I'm probably going to make a little study in a corner somewhere, although I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet. The other thing I'm going to introduce you to, again assuming you've not seen it already, is something quite clever that you do with wool. Don't ask me why it's wool, I assume we weave it into some kind of coarse thread of some sort. But we make canvas effectively out of this. And then we put it all in a big circle, plunk that in the middle. And as you can see, I've got something that looks startlingly like a picture frame. And you know why it looks like a picture frame? Because it is a bloody picture frame, you dumbass. Okay. And as you can see, I'm going a little crazy on the old pictures. I'd forgotten that you could stack these. And as you can see, sheep have their use. Since the armour was changed to leather, sheep still have their use. So here's my library. And I think I'm going to put up some pictures. Hmm. I'll set fire to it. Oh, that was the sort of thing I was after. And as you can see, it just keeps on creating pictures until one of the appropriate size appears. I've just had a better idea. Whoa! That's gotten darker quicker than I thought. Right. Ooh. Spooky. Ooh. Right. First thing I need is some wood. Oh, I have some wood. Duh. I'm 
basically, I'm going to just see about some kind of, like a hanging, like a chandelier type thing. I, I don't know. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet. No, there. There we go. I actually quite like that. And in here is going to be that study that I spoke about earlier. So now I can have large pictures on the walls. Now I'm pretty sure that there are some wide pictures. And really, the idea is you just keep on going. Whoa! Wasn't quite the picture I was after, but you know what? Yeah, why not? Now that's pretty nice looking. So yeah, you just keep on hitting it until eventually it gives you yeah, a picture that you want. Now I'm not, still not 100% convinced that this looks good enough. But, for now, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Now up here, wow, things have been growing. Well, as you would expect. I suppose the worst case and I fall off, I have got something nice and soft and splashy to fall into. There we go. It does take quite a bit of reed to make a bookcase. But if you think about it, you'd have to squash the reeds pretty flat to make paper. And there's a lot of paper goes into a book, and there's quite a lot of books in a bookcase. So, yeah, I'd say that within the realms of realism, it's not too bad. Look at that. The beginnings of my arcane library. Yeah. I'm really enjoying the look of this. It's looking pretty good. And it's brightening up. Starting to look good. Yeah. Well, I'm sure I've been working long enough. So what I'm going to do is say uh, bye for now. And uh, cheerio.